All right, y'all, y'all already know LDBC. So Terrence Bud Crawford, pound for pound fighter since what, 2017? He's been undisputed at, what is it, 140, welterweight 147. And uh, I know he was trying to do it at 154, but we don't know if that's going to happen. But I mean, he's clearly been the number one fighter fighter in the world for a long time, right? Well, he did an interview with Fight Hype. Shout out to Fight Hype. And they end up asking him, what do they about Keyshawn Davis and Shakur Stevenson fighting Javon Tank Tank Davis. Javon Tank Tank Davis, who is currently one of the faces of boxing, last fought last year against Frank Martin. I know he's an upcoming fight, I believe in February against Lamont Rowe, which January, February, I have to look it back up. But, you know, they just asked in general about Javon Tank Tank Davis fighting Keyshawn Davis and uh, Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is also a champion. Tank got Tank's a champion. I know Devin Haney gave up his belts and then I think they collected his belts. But, Terrence Crawford had this to say about Javante Tank Davis. Quote, one of them going to get him. It's going to be a great night of boxing when they do. Now, am, am, am I surprised that uh, Terrence Crawford said this about Keyshawn or Shakur stopping Javante Tank Davis? No, that's the guy. They kind of grew up in the, or I guess Bo Mac trains them or assists with them. They was all under the top rank umbrella. Shakur, or uh, Terrence Crawford has definitely been mentoring core for a long time and maybe he does feel like shit one of them will stop him maybe he does right and i have no problem with that because he's a future hall of famer undisputed all that but this is what i have to say about it right i gotta see it in the ring i gotta see it in the ring this is what i honestly think is gonna happen now first i don't think the fight what year is this 2024 basically 2025 i don't think the fight's gonna happen to 2030 while javante tank davis in my opinion has only fought a weight drain ryan garcia do think that he is going to test Keyshawn's and shakur's chin and honestly i mean i this is how i think it would go with both fighters right uh, Keyshawn and Shakur versus Javante. I think that both of them will be running around the ring. I do think that Javante is going to going to chase them. I say about round five. You know, he tests one of their chins, and about round seven, eight, nine. They, they, at this moment, they out of there. At this moment, they out of there. Do I think? Why do I think the fight's not going to happen? Well, Shakur now is known for being a boring fighter. Uh, so. <laughs> To, to the point where Cameron and Mace fell asleep, act like they was falling asleep. You had people getting up and leaving. Keyshawn Davis, honestly, I don't think anybody really knows knows who he is like that. I know he was an Olympian. And listen, this ain't this, this ain't no no disrespect. You know, salute salute to Keyshawn, but I just I don't think that he's even uh built up enough uh how should I say this? I don't think he's built up enough fan base to even call him out. Like I think a lot of a, a lot of people know who who Keyshawn is. A lot of people know who I'm not Keyshawn. Shakur. A lot of people know who Devin Haney is. You know, Ryan Garcia, Sona. But I just, I don't know. I don't feel like the average person knows who Keyshawn Davis is yet. But look, I, I respect Terrence Crawford. That's his opinion. Maybe he sees something that we can't see. But I mean, at this moment, if the fight were to magically happen, I just, I, I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Can I see the fight being somewhat tough at first? Yeah. But I just, I don't know if neither one of them got the chin. And another thing, it ain't going to happen until 2030 because Javante Davis only fights once a year. When was the last time he fought uh, Frank Martin? That was, Then when he fight before that? Ryan Garcia the year before that? It, it's, it's, you know, and it's this, you know, if I'm going a little rant, but man, this is why boxing is so bad, man. Javante Davis, he should be on his second or third fight already. But we don't know if PBC got any, you know, they, rumors has it they don't have a lot of uh, cheese over there. You know what I'm saying? They pay the fighters. But, you know, at this moment, at this moment, I got Javante Tank Davis winning, honestly. Uh, either one of the fighters, I see stops within by seven, eight rounds guaranteed at this moment, you know. But, hey, this boxing things can change. Maybe they'll go in there and outbox them and then end up stopping them. I don't know. Maybe maybe Javante Tank Davis runs out of gas like how he did spar against Devin Haney. I don't know. But at this moment, I got, I definitely see uh, Javante stopping both of them. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.